What is going on guys, so it's JJ here back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a shuriken cork. A shuriken cork is a cork variation and it is also my favourite cork variation. When you do it right, it looks really good. Before you start trying to learn this move, you should have a really good corkscrew already. And also it helps if you can do a pop 3 hook. Okay, so the first step when you do a shuriken cork is, as you take off, you want to lift your arms and chest at the same time and rather than going straight back like you would for a normal cork you're going to kick up and look just over here because this is where your hook kick leg is going to come out or your crescent kick so as you come up turn for a fraction of a second you're going to see the wall opposite or spot something opposite pick a target and that's where your kick is going to be aimed so you lift up spot the target now you start to lean and the leg comes straight over so once you get your takeoff right and you're spotting the wall or your target just as you take off next thing to focus on is pulling that lead leg around as hard as you can you want to think about it as if you're hitting a pad like a clapper pad when you start to lean back once you've seen your target and you start to lean back all the focus goes to this leg and you turn and pull it up as hard as you can, nice and straight. It's really important that you keep your legs straight. As your foot comes up to the top here, here is when you want to start pushing your hips out, giving the trick that extension. So leg comes up, you're leaning back, leg is straight up, and you push your hips out, almost like you're trying to do an axe kick. You want to get this leg, keeping it straight, down to the floor as fast as you can. Pushing your hips out is really important for the extension aspect of this trick because it makes your legs look longer and it makes the trick look a lot cleaner and more impressive. After you can do all those steps, the next thing to do is just point your toes for effect. It just makes the trick look a lot better as a whole. So the five main points of this move that you need to remember are spotting your target as you take off, leaning back, keeping that kicking leg straight, extending your hips as you come past the vertical point and the last one is to point your toes. Once you learn shirk and cork and you're really comfortable with it you can start to change it slightly to create other variations. Here are two of my favorite shirk and cork variations. I hope this video has helped you to learn shirk and cork or even improve the shirt and court that you already have. Just remember those five aspects and you will get it eventually. If there's any extra questions you have regarding shirt and court, or if there's any other tricks that you would like me to do a tutorial of, make sure you leave a comment below letting me know what that is. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.